it's something you can do without an attachment to the outcome. I call it unbound play. We're so outcome oriented in our culture. Why are you doing that? I got to get this done. That, there's always a reason why you've got to do this. But we don't realize that we're very trapped in the rational mind, but the complementary opposite to the rational mind is the unrational. Dancing is not rational. Nobody looks at your dancing and says, you know, your mathematical ratios of hip to arm movements are off there. Right. You no, know, it's not a golf swing, right? It, dancing is unrational. And what we feel free if we dance without critical judgment of ourselves. We're free. I love to paint because I can light it on fire. I can give it away. I'm not attached to the outcome. It's an act of expressing the child, the little boy in me, rock stacking, going for a walk and listening to the birds. There's no rational outcome except just being there. And the more we give ourselves permission to engage the unrational to balance the rational, the easier it is for us to find our center. Because if you just think of it as a teeter-totter, on one end is rational, on the other end is the unrational. Mm -hmm. And if the rational is all you got, then that teeter-totter is not moving, and life is movement. And when you balance the rational and the unrational, the teeter-totter holds still, but it's balanced. Right. It's level. Right. And when we operate from that place as our place of departure each day and our way of closing the day, then we grow. We have an open-minded approach because we learn in those activities that we get these amazing insights and intuitions that come out of nowhere that our ego would never have thought of by itself. But we come to realize that the more busy our mind is, the more we shut out the messages of the universe that only come when we're open. And really, to be a healthy person at every level means to be open-minded, open-minded to when your diet needs to change. Like I could just interviewed Paul Saladino, and one of my questions is, how dogmatic are you about this <laughs> nose to tail? And he, he said something beautiful. He said, you know, it's working for me right now, but if it stops working, I'll try something different. <laughs> yeah. You know, And that's what it means to be open-minded, and that's what I really try to get across to the vegans and the vegetarians, because they're in a closed belief system. And oftentimes, by the time they come to see me for help, they have serious health problems. I've seen many of them with cancer. And the paradox is they often use that approach to heal cancer, but they don't realize that what starts off as medicine can become the source of a disease. Right. And that's no different than being someone who's fixated on running or has to watch a certain TV show at night or right. has to have their coffee or the world just comes to an end.